Hey, what's going on guys, Simzy here, and today we're going to be continuing our How to Defend series, moving on to the map Oregon. So if this is the first video in the series that you were watching, don't forget to go down to the description below and check out the previous maps or sites that I've done so far. But if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell for future content so you guys don't miss out on anything. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so you guys know I don't want to waste your time. Let's get it right into the op picks. So typically for an Oregon basement defense, you're going to want to bring a Smoke, a Jaeger, a Maestro, a Wamai, and in this case, we want to bring a Waldenau, so we're going to bring Cade. Now, if Cade is banned for whatever reason, I recommend bringing a Mute, and if Wamai is banned for whatever reason, I recommend bringing a Malusi instead. Now moving on to the reinforcements, you're going to get the lobby hatch, the meeting hatch, the freezer hatch, one of the freezer walls, the single pillars wall facing tower stairs, you're going to get these two walls inside of e-box, and then the last two walls, you're going to get one of the elbow construction walls and you're going to pocket the second one so that you can back out of elbow and reinforce it off. Let's get into the positioning and utility. All right, so when it comes to smoke, you're going to have a lot of rotations and lines of sight to make, so let's get right into it. So you're going to make a head hole across the freezer wall. You're going to go ahead and make a rotate into a supply. You're also going to make a rotate into elbow or into construction. Now when it comes to electrical or e-box, I've seen people reinforce these two all like I showed you guys. Um, and then open up this wall. But I've also seen people, instead of reinforcing this one, they reinforce the right side and they make head holes across that one. Um, they both work perfectly fine, but we're gonna make our head holes across there. We're gonna go ahead and make a hole right here. And this is just so you could sit inside of supply and kind of contest anybody walking down T1 stairs. Other than that, that's pretty much all you have to do. It is quite a, a bit, but after that, you're gonna go ahead and place your shield inside of elbow. Make sure you place it a little bit away from the edge of the wall so that ADSs can be placed here and it'll cover the shield from that point on. And then of course you have a little bit of a pixel here on the left side of the shield to kind of contest if anybody pushes up. Um, and then reinforcing, you are going to reinforce the single wall here inside of elbow and then you're going to pocket that extra wall for this wall whenever you kind of get pressure to the point where you need to back out and reinforce it. But that's pretty much that. All right, so moving on to Jaeger, we're going to start right away by getting our e-box walls. And once we're done getting our e-box walls, we're going to go ahead and place our ADSs down. So you're actually going to place two for elbow and then one on the construction double door. And then when it comes to your barb, you're going to go ahead and place one on the T1 stairs. Place it a little bit further down than you think, just so it forces the attackers to push lower to actually break the barb. You're going to place your second one here. And like I said, you're going to place one ADS on the construction double door. And then you're going to place two inside of elbow for the smoke shield. Just like so. And then once you're done with that, you are pretty much set as Jaeger. You're typically going to play uh, Freezer or Bottom Main. Just pretty much you're holding the front. The front two rooms, you have Bottom Main and then Freezer. So you kind of rotate in and out. You have these head holes across in order to kind of contest multiple angles, whether you're in Freezer or inside of Laundry. Moving on to Maestro, we're going to go ahead and get the single Pillars Wall. And then we're also going to go ahead and get the extra freezer wall. And then once we do that, we're going to go ahead and set up our barbed wire and set up our evil eyes. A lot of the time, most teams do a back push, but we're going to go ahead and place one evil eye in the back and then one in the front just in case. But we're going to place our barb at the bottom of main stairs. And then our other barb is going to go inside of freezer and we'll just place it at the bottom of the stairs. So we're going to place one evil eye inside of pillar and then the other one's going to be just anywhere in the front. You just want them to have some sort of info in the front if possible. It really depends on how the attacking team is pushing the objective. So if you can prepare, if you know they're doing a back push for whatever reason, then definitely set both of them facing the back. But the first one's going to be in pillar there, just facing the construction door. And as you can see, we can see anybody that comes down T1 or walks from construction into pillars. And then our next evil eye is going to go on the front side. And we're just going to place it right here next to where you would typically put a front-facing mirror. 
And then as the Maestro, you'll probably play inside a pillar. You want to contest T1, potentially peek through these holes, although it is kind of a hard angle to win sometimes. Um, you do want to still play here as long as you can, just because pillars is a huge part or a huge spot to play when it comes to holding down the basement. All right, so when it comes to Wamai, you're going to go ahead and get the hatches. You can either get one or two and just coordinate it with the other operator, which is going to be Kid in this case. But we're just going to grab one for the time being. So let's go ahead and get this meeting hatch. Then you're going to go back down into the objective and you're going to place a shield inside of construction. You're going to place it on the blue barrel or attach to the blue barrel. Make sure you don't attach it into the doorway. That is not a shield, but place your shield right in this blue barrel. And this is where you're going to be playing. You're going to have an ADS on that door. You're also going to be playing here with Omai to throw a couple discs, try to help out, just waste a little bit more utility. And just try to play here as long as possible. Typically, this shield does get popped um, earlier than that shield, but that's the whole point. You just want to waste as much utility as possible. Once the shield is destroyed, you want to make sure you get out of here with your life. Um, you do want to be careful when crossing this angle here that will be made. Um, but typically, you should be able to kind of come to pillar and just sprint across without really getting shot. Um, the likelihood of you kind of getting hit while you're trying to run across is not really that high. So just try to make sure that you get out of there, even if you need to throw a Wamai on T1 to cover any flashbangs or nades that may come to the guy playing pillars. But pretty much play this position, take some gunfights if you are confident with it, utilize the shield, and then just ultimately waste as much time, utility, and drones as possible, and then get out of here and go back to the objective. All right, so moving on to Cade, we're gonna go ahead and get the other two hatches. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of them. We'll just grab the lobby hatch for now, just cause I don't really need to show you guys. All right, so moving on to Cade, we're gonna go ahead and get the other two hatches. I'm just gonna get the one for now, but in this case, you will get the other two hatches, the freezer and the main lobby, but let's go ahead and throw our utility down. So while I throw this down, I'll talk about the Malusi, because I said if you don't have a Wumai, if he's banned for whatever reason, you want to bring Malusi, um, you will place your Malusis in three spots. One inside a freezer, um, but in this case, you're going to Cade right there, and it'll actually be impossible for a Kali to destroy it. Typically, you'll have a Thatcher ban, but Kali won't be able to actually destroy that Cade. But like I said, put a Banshee inside a freezer. You're going to put a Banshee on the tower stairs. Right there on the wall and then your last one's going to go inside of construction just on this blue tarp here so whenever they walk into construction they get hit by the banshee and then when it comes to our second cade you're going to go ahead and just cade through the wall and again this is another cade that actually is impossible to destroy from cali so you just place it through the wall and it'll get that hatch as well and then when it comes to cade you're pretty much just going to help the jaeger hold the front while also helping the back by playing this angle here that'll be open where you can hold T1 stairs, you can help the guy that's playing pillars, as well as the Omai that's playing that shield. And then if Kate is banned for whatever reason, which is kind of likely because these Kate spots are pretty overpowered, is you'll bring the mute and, you know, you just mute the typical things. You mute the single wall, you mute this wall here, um, you mute the back side for drones, um, as well as potentially the front side for drones. It's really up to you. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, so don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys do not miss any more videos. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.